Good morning, everyone. It's Ryan from Disney Pins Blog. Welcome back to another Disney adventure. I am back here at the airport, and today I am heading to California for the D23 Expo 2019. Very excited about it. Woke up at 4 a.m. today. It's about five, a little after 5 a.m. right now. My flight boards at 6.30 a.m. I got another dang layover in Chicago before I get to LAX. Let's get in there now, check my bag, and get something quick to eat, and head to California. All right, just got some uh, McDonald's this time. Opted in for a uh, Egg McMuffin. I already checked my bag in and everything. Good to go. I have about a half hour until I board. I feel like this is deja vu. I pretty much had the same exact flight two weeks ago for the uh, Honda Mansion 50th anniversary event when I went out for that. Same early flight to Chicago. Well, I made it to LAX. Down here waiting for my bags right now. And I'm uploading a YouTube video. I made it to my room. I am back at the Hilton Anaheim, the convention center hotel. This is perfect for D23 Expo because you basically just walk downstairs and you're there. But yeah, just checked in my room. Got a king bed here on the fifth floor, which has like a deck access out here. Yeah, you can just cruise out to the door here. And basically all of these different rooms um, have access to this little private deck here on the fifth floor. Um, so kind of cool, little lounge space out there. But yeah, sorry I didn't film too much. I, I had a layover in Chicago. Um, it was like an hour and a half and the full flight, I was just like working nonstop on DPB. Did some blog posts, edited a video, got that up, big pin videos up. Um, so yeah, and then I just got a lift from LAX here to Hilton Anaheim, checked in. And uh, now it is currently, it's 1.30 right now, Pacific time. So I'm just gonna unpack a little bit and then I have to make my way over to the convention center. I gotta pick up my media badge and um, I might try to get a preview for you guys of the Dream Store pin. So I'll see what I can do. Um, it might be in this vlog a little bit later. All right, we're going to the convention center. All right guys, I just picked up my media badge. Look at this line out here, guys. Already people are lined up. Oof. Some time has passed, but I am back in my room right now. Had an awesome afternoon exploring the uh, D23 Expo. I was able to get in with my media pass. Um, it was pretty much just people in there setting up their booths and 
just the whole production you could see everything it, it was really cool and it was pretty much a sorcerer people in there and other vendors and, and disney cast members setting up and getting ready for the big day tomorrow. And there were signs everywhere for media not to film anything or, or take photos. I was permitted though to take photos at the Disney Dream Store, which you guys saw in this vlog. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys a closer look at a few of the pins I was able to acquire from the Dream Store. But um, other than that, I didn't want to film anything or take any pictures of anyone. I didn't want to ruin the experience for people who are coming in tomorrow for the first time. So. I uh, you know, kept it strictly to what Disney allowed me to do as media. After I did go to the Dream Store, I did kind of make a loop around and I was just checking out everything just from them getting ready for tomorrow. I went in front of Mickey's at Glendale, there was security everywhere, saw them setting up the pins. I went to uh, Disney Studio Store Hollywood, saw them putting up all the pins. I did go to the Disney Store as well, but I didn't go inside the Disney Store, I just kind of walked past it. Then I came back to the hotel. Just had some dinner and now I'm back in my room. So let's take a look at these pins. So the pins I'm about to show you right now are not everything from the Dream Store. It's only a few pins because there are staggered releases throughout the weekend. There's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday releases. And also, some of the pins that they had at the Dream Store were already sold to Sorcerer packages through RSP. So they didn't have everything that was released there. I will leave a link below to the Dream Store blog post at DisneyPinsBlog.com if you guys want to check out all of the releases from Dream Store. Okay, first up we have all of the D23 Expo logo pins. We've got to kick it off with Mickey Mouse. He kind of has like this red border around him with the uh, poster art there in the center. Mickey Mouse, this is limited edition pin. Let's check out the LE size because I'm not sure off the top of my head. Retail price is $17.99. It is limited edition of 3000 It's almost like a rose gold, but it's more rose color more like a, of a red color next we have the elsa pin with of course a blue frame on that one pretty nice here's a look at the black panther pin it's got a purple frame on that one here is the r2d2 pin another blue frame on this one but more of a darker blue frame compared to the elsa pin and then finally my favorite woody with the gold frame love that gold all right, next we're gonna get into the Little Mermaid collection. Again, this isn't everything, and this is only the color variant. I believe these are going to be released in November during a pin trading night, um, but more details coming on that soon. Here's the Scuttle and Flounder pin, pin on pin design here with a stained glass element, and exclusive for D23 Expo 2019. You can see here it says color variant. That is $20. And uh, look at the backer card in that with a silhouette of Ariel. That's really nice. And very low edition size on this one. LE 300. Very low. That's why it has a, uh, a price of $20. And then here is the King Triton pin. We do have a pin on pin design here as well with the um, Sebastian with the fish there. And it's on a slider which is pretty cool. And if you guys recall this actually was a Acme pin that we uh, released not too long ago, that was an LE200 Acme pin, that little piece there. Uh, same retail price on this one, I believe it's LE300 as well. And then we got the Jumbo, Ariel and her sisters. There is a closer look at that one. Very nice design here, super colorful. This one was $75 and it is limited edition of 300 for the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid. And uh, yeah, like I said, more pins coming soon for Little Mermaid 30th at uh, Disney Parks. Next up, we have this super awesome Dapper Dan collection. And I absolutely love this one because it features Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse with the Sleeping Beauty castle in the background. It is a pin on pin design. You have a little bit of glitter embellishments there in the castle. Mickey's holding a balloon that reads D23 Expo 2019. And I love the backer cards in these. It, they're white, but uh, very colorful with the balloons. It says limited edition on here. The old school Disneyland Resort logo at the top. D23 Expo right there. Just super awesome pin. This one is a uh, retail price of $17.99. There is a look at the back and it is limited edition of 1000. Okay, next up we have the trolley pin. Also part of the Dapper Dan collection, you have Donald, Pluto, Mickey, Goofy, Chip and Dell. The whole gang is there. A little bit of glitter embellishments there at the bottom. Pin on pin design. I just love the artwork that they chose for this Dapper Dan collection. Exclusive for the Dream Store at D23 Expo. 
This one is $17.99. I'm assuming it's LD1000. Let's take a look. This one is actually limited edition of $1,500. All right, next we have this old school bicycle pin. It says high wheeling in high style. D23 Expo. You have Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse there, both in their dapper attire. Minnie Mouse is a pin on pin design. You can see uh, she's popping out there. I really do like this pin a lot. That old school vibe to it. Retail price $17.99. Let's take a look at the LE size. This one is limited edition of $1,500 as well. And it's pretty cool in the back of cards here. It's like Main Street USA. I like the uh, design on those. All right, one of my favorites from the collection is the Tandem Bicycle Jumbo Pin. It's probably more of like a mini jumbo, but it comes in a super nice collectible box. You have the preview window here on the front, limited edition on the bottom, nice frame around it. D23 Expo at the top. Let's go ahead and take the lid off. And here is a look at the pin. The Tandem Bicycle with Goofy, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, and Pluto in the basket there in the front. And uh, look, it moves. The little basket moves up and down. Ruff, 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 ruff. I really like the intricate design of these. The wheels even spin. This one is rare too, coming in at the limited edition of 500 and it had a retail price of $50. Next up, we have the Haunted Mansion original artwork for the Museum of the Weird. This right here is my favorite one. It's the Skeleton Pirate. With these collectible pins, Walt Disney Imagineering and D23 celebrate 50 years of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. And each one of these is based off of a different piece of art for the Haunted Mansion. That's the uh, Skeleton Pirate. This one here is really cool. It's Ghost in a Bottle. Just look at this pin. It has a 3D pop-out element. And then the pin is on the inside. It's pretty crazy how they did that. They have miniature lithographs in the back, which the pin is based off of. Down here is the octopus holding the skull head. Another cool piece of art. And this is the pin here at the bottom. And then this crazy looking plant. It's like a Venus flytrap almost with the uh, big oval pin here. These are nice sized pins. They are limited edition of $999 with a retail price of $40 each. And then finally we have the Tiny Kingdom collection. I'm probably gonna do a separate video on this because this is part of a mystery set. You get this little canvas map, kind of like Shop Disney with the uh, Disney Wisdom. It comes with the Sleeping Beauty completer pin there in the center. And then all of the remaining pins are available in a mystery box, which I have here. I do have the mystery boxes and this is probably going to be a separate video on the YouTube channel. So check back for that. Little side note, I'm really into those tiny pins and I'm trying to collect all of them. Also, they made their debut here at D23 Expo and there's going to be color variants coming to the parks. So, if you guys are into these, Disneyland and Walt Disney World is supposed to be getting these tiny pins. Alright, so that is my little pin haul from the Disney Dream Store at D23 Expo 2019. It's my first day here, travel day and got some content and some coverage. I was gonna stay overnight tonight in line um, because I actually did pay for a three day ticket for the D23 Expo and then I was awarded the media pass. So I actually do have two tickets for the Expo. Um, but I think I'm going to opt out for waiting overnight tonight. I only got like three or four hours of sleep last night. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning and I don't think I could handle a full overnight right now. I'm probably going to uh, sleep tonight and then get up early in the morning and go to the media line. I, I want to test it out and see how it is. Do the, the media line and uh, see how that is. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to Mickey's of Glendale tomorrow morning just because by the time I get there, the line's probably going to be insane. So I might try to do Disney Studios Store Hollywood. I don't know. I'm going to play by ear. It's going to be a last minute thing. I'll bring you guys along with me for the journey. Um, if it doesn't work out, I always have Saturday. So I could wait overnight tomorrow night instead. We'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for watching Travel Day and uh, taking a look at the uh, Dream Store pins with me. Be sure to stop back tomorrow. And thanks for following Disney Pins Vlog. See ya. Yeah.